it's becoming that time of year where we start to bundle up, we start to really dress to impress. Fall and winter season, I bust out the best of the best outfits that I own. And I feel like with that being said, I want to discuss an overall physical glow up. I wanna do an entire video dedicated on how to look your best, how to look sexy, beautiful, hygienic, clean, and just perfectly put together. And these are certain tips that I have been following and that I noticed that other girls follow to look and feel just absolutely stunning. So if you guys want these tips, then please keep on watching. I also wanna thank Beach Waver for sponsoring today's video. That's pretty much how I achieve literally all of my curls. And I actually showed you guys when I still had my longer extensions, how I curled my hair, but I still have been curling my hair with Beach Waver now that it's short. But um, thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. And let's just get into the physical glow up. I have a lot to touch on. All right, we're gonna start from top to bottom. I am going to touch on hair first. Ladies, it's silk press season. Let's get our hair nice and beautifully pressed out if you don't wear your hair naturally curly, of course. And for all of my girlies who are just trying to do new things, Fall hair colors are so in. I have been seeing that rusty orange, that really beautiful burgundy red, bringing some pretty caramel highlights into the hair. I'm kind of thinking about getting some sort of extensions with caramel highlights and just looking really pretty and glowy, but I really want you guys to glow up your hair. Essentially, you want to do something that frames your face best, that best suits your forehead, your structures, your body, and this is something that is so crucial in your physical glow up journey. For me personally, I have found that I look good with long and short hair, but it has to be styled a particular way. I like when my hair is pressed, when it's shiny. A lot of the times I like it with a lot of body and volume. That to me makes me look the best because more volume to my hair slims out my face a little bit. If I have like super sleek hair or my hair pulled all the way back in a tight bun, I feel like my face looks a little bit more round which I don't love. So volume, curls, all of that makes me look good. You really wanna focus on what looks good for your face, for your body, and what best suits you, and also what suits your lifestyle. For all of my girlies who work out a lot and you don't wanna get your hair pressed, well, you can still do beautiful braids. I love a sleek braid, the really, really long one that people do. I'm obsessed, this is a great time of year for that. And also start investing in some great hair products. Now that I have taken out my extensions and I am wearing my hair essentially natural. There are certain products that really are just perfect for my hair. I have been using the Second Chances Dry Shampoo from Beach Waver, which I absolutely love. And I've been using their hairspray as well. And I use this every time I style my hair. It's also a heat protectant hairspray, which to me is incredible. Before I talk about products and our amazing sponsor, Beach Waver, I wanna talk quickly about my hairstyle. So I have leave out with a quick weave. I get these installed almost every month. Um, if you want to prolong your hair process of going to the salon, then get a sew-in, but I love the quick weave process because it's quick and easy, I'm in and out. I have the most amazing bundles and these are from my amazing hairdresser who I will tag and list down below in the description box, but these are raw bundles. So this is cut off of a donor's head. They're not processed, they're not like synthetic fibers, it is real raw hair. And what I love about it is it's thick root to tip. And these are, I think 26 or 20 inches. I cut them maybe once. I just love the fullness of them. They look the best and I get so many compliments on my hair. And I love that there's just like natural highlights in it. I want to let you guys in on my best kept secret for having the most effortless, beautiful waves slash curls. And it's this amazing device from Beach Waver. I actually have the leopard print one. They just sent me this, but I. I have been using the original like white one. It's actually tucked away right now, but this has been my favorite because I'm a Jersey girl and Jersey girls love leopard print. So um, this particular iron is pretty skinny. I love it so much. I actually wand curl my hair, but what is so amazing about the Beach Waver, which makes it very innovative and creative is their ability to have this particular technique and method to clamp your hair onto it like this, and then you're going to just spin it on until you get your desired curl. So I don't normally use this feature, but I do think it's really nice to have, and I'm gonna kind of show you guys on a few pieces of hair what it looks like, just in case you wanted to have like this dummy proof way of curling your hair. It just completely cuts your curling time in half. Do you guys see that? 
How gorgeous is that curl? I'm gonna show you guys a few more times because um, although I do wand my hair, I think this actually gives a completely different curl. And this is something that I would do on like a romantic evening where I would want to maybe have like more Hollywood style curls, which I just think are really beautiful. So let me show you guys again. Do you guys see that? And I don't always curl all the way up to the top when I do these romantic style curls because I like when my curls kind of start pretty low with this particular style. So one more time, let me show you guys. And then just pull it out. Look at that, guys. I'm gonna do a couple more just so you guys can really see the difference in the Hollywood curls versus like the wand curls that I tend to do. But these are honestly, guys, like so beautiful. And you guys see how simple that was? Pull out. And you don't have to leave it on the iron for too long. So here are those curls. Let me just kind of show you guys them up close. And then what I like to do with all of my curls is I will completely comb them out just like that. And it creates the most beautiful, look at that guys. I'm just really obsessed. But this is the final look if you wanna just keep them tight. The beach waver is amazing. I pretty much just alternated them. So I did one away and then one towards the face and I just kept doing that. And this is pretty much how my hair always looks. Like I always have my hair curled with this amazing device. So I will leave everything that you guys need to know about it down below in the description box. And you guys can pick up your beach waver today if you guys wanna have perfect effortless curls like me and glow up. You really wanna just start investing in good products that are meant for your hair hair type. Things like masks and deep conditioners and certain bonnets and anything that preserves the health and wealth of your hair. I have been so big on taking good care of my hair throughout the years and although I do put heat to it, I find ways to really nurture and moisturize my hair. Hair is important, ladies. It frames your face. It makes you look beautiful. When your hair is shiny, luscious, clean, and smelling good, you look that much better. So attend to the hair and then everything else will look just that much better. Okay, next up is your makeup routine. This is crucial for your physical glow up. When I looked the worst was when my makeup just was not suiting my face. I would draw very, very, very defined contour lines on my cheeks and on my nose and not blend them out. A lot of the times, ladies, it's really just your blend. And even me, like to this day, I'm not a makeup guru. I have just found what works for my face, my body, and what looks the most clean. This is a more dramatized version of what my makeup looks like on a day-to-day, -day, but I will normally do all of this minus the eyeshadow and like the intensity of it all. But I really love a good brow, a good cheek, a good lip, and boom. You really, really, really want your makeup to look seamless and beautiful and tailored to your particular face and shape and tone. Get yourself color matched, get yourself certain products. I wanna show you guys some of my favorite products that I feel like have changed my makeup for the better. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. I find that this has completely blurred my face and made it look that much more seamless and beautiful. I don't know, there's just something really beautiful about the way that this finishes on the skin. I also really, really, really love, hold on. There is not a day that goes by that I don't wear this NARS blush, it's a more. I don't even know how I found this or if somebody put me on, but all I know is when I first got it, I was super nervous because I thought it was like kind of a lighter shade, but guys, no, it is so beautiful. It kind of gives me a little bit less of a crazy pink because you guys know me, I'm a blush girl. I love blush, 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 blush. It's just my favorite, but sometimes you just need a more subtle blush vibe and this is amazing. I'm obsessed. And last but not least, I have this Patrick Ta lip gloss in the shade is she younger than me now what i love about this is first of all it's on my lips today it's so beautiful it's so glittery it's so blinding but what's even better is it gives you a little bit of a minty fresh breath vibe do you guys remember those old school lip glosses that you can get from like bath and body works that would have like that menthol flavor to them this is huge in glowing up is just making sure that everything just smells on par and obviously you want to brush your teeth and use mouthwash and things like that but to have something that keeps that area smelling minty fresh it's like a two for 
for one, y'all. This lip gloss is no joke, so I'm obsessed. Those are like the three products that I can think of that have completely changed my makeup game recently, but I am going to do a full video on my makeup routine coming soon, so please stay tuned to that. You will save so much money not trying to buy into every single trend, every single product that comes out. Cultivate a very sustainable, easy, 10 minute to 15 minute makeup routine. Obviously, I know some of you guys work faster than others, but I want it to be products that you can put on your skin and it just looks good immediately. It doesn't need a ton of finesse. It doesn't need so much effort, so much work. You want things that work for you for the everyday basis. This is a part of the physical glow up is knowing what works for you, knowing what doesn't, and not trying to make things work just because they were trendy and cool, okay? Okay, ladies and gents, skin is in and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. You know I have this cabinet over here. You guys know I've been collecting skincare, but if I'm being honest, when I go through different seasons of my life, I won't go as hard with my skin. It's just something that I wasn't prioritizing and that's just the honest truth. I will take off my makeup in the shower, you know, do a cleanser and then go to bed. No, not anymore. Now my makeup routine and my skincare routine is very cohesive and it's just very detailed. My skincare routine has changed my life and has really allowed me to see such a difference in the youthfulness of my skin. Lately, I have them in front of me, by the way. I've been using the Typology Paris um, oils. I will do an entire video on my skincare routine once I heal everything needed to be healed, but Skin is looking better, better than ever. And this is the vitamin C, this is the macadamia oil. Essentially, I want you guys to really do a detailed skincare routine and also, for your physical glow up, invest in facials, specifically hydrofacials, dermaplaning, microneedling. There are so many different things that you can do with your esthetician that will enhance your beauty and make you that much more beautiful, okay? You guys don't even realize that there are certain things that people can do to finesse you. Another thing, gua sha, I just got into it. I don't wanna hype up gua sha too much, guys, but I do it every single night for the past, I wanna say three or four weeks. I've been loving it. It has been something that I used to sculpt my face. I also do my lymph nodes and everything in that area, but I have found that this has really enhanced my skincare routine at night. But I, again, can do a whole skincare video for you guys, but I really want you to start investing in quality skincare. Maybe take a skincare quiz and see what your needs are and what products are best suited for you. Some of you guys are gonna need that hyaluronic acid, that salicylic acid, retinol, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, like all of these different things you might need for your skin but you just need to know where to begin and sometimes it just takes getting the knowledge and being able to attain it it's also peel season ladies so if you guys are down for a chemical peel that is like a great way to just start fresh if you have acne scarring or texture or just something uneven on your face a peel is a great way to just completely strip that layer of skin and start fresh. So if you feel like your skin makes you self-conscious, it makes you feel ugly, you don't feel as gorgeous, get a peel, get some hydrofacials, get a dermaplaning situation going, and you're gonna feel like that much better, I promise. All right, y'all know I'm the hygiene queen and I stress the importance of hygiene. This is a huge part of your physical glow up. You need to smell good, your body needs to smell good, your breath needs to smell good, you need to be washing every ounce of your body, you wanna have clear skin on the body, shiny skin, clean hair, good smelling hair. This is going to elevate you significantly. When you walk in a room and you are a beautiful woman and you know everyone can smell you, not only your hair when you're walking past them, but your body, your aroma, your perfume, this is elevating you, this is enhancing you. Not only should you be doing this for yourself, but you should be doing this for the respect that you need to be paying to others that have to smell you, okay? Your breath is important as well, please don't skip it. A lot of you guys have bad breath due to tonsil stones and due to some sort of acid issues. You really want to get a hold of these things. Also, brush your tongue, water pick, any type of flossing would be great. Brush your teeth, mouthwash and rinse and oil pull. These are all great ways to completely enhance your hygiene in the mouth. Also, teeth whitening, there are natural remedies to doing this and also ways you can do it. I don't care which way you do it, but I think that having nice, beautiful smile is the key to just looking brighter and better and enhancing your look and having that glow up. Okay, nails. Now, you guys know what I do for a living, obviously YouTube, so I can have a little bit more fun with my nails. I think that just keeping up with your manicures, keeping up, whether it's a Russian manicure, acrylic set, keep them cute and find nails that best suit your hand shape. For instance, short square nails have never looked good on me. I always try to do them, I just don't love them. 
I probably will try it again because I always like to try it, but I really love Almond on me. It best suits my fingers and it looks the best. You wanna get your nails done at least every month, if you can, every three weeks, and making sure that you're cleaning your fingers and making them look nice. I'm telling you, it enhances an outfit, it makes you look better, it makes you look more polished. Nails are the best, honestly. And nails don't only mean fingers, but they also mean toes. So make sure your guys are getting your pedicures. Again, guys, not everything has to be something you have to spend money on. If you need to, buy all of these kits on Amazon, learn how to do them yourself. I just want you guys to get in the habit of keeping up with these things, okay? Keeping up with that look, keeping up with the polished look. These things require maintenance. Every two weeks, you have to do certain things. Every three weeks, you have to do another thing. Every month, you have to do another thing. Make sure you're keeping up with it. Keep yourself on a schedule and find ways to do it to where you feel more beautiful, feel more powerful, feel more confident. This is all a part of the glow up. Also for the feet, I love any type of foot scrub. I also like to do lotion with a sock on the foot at night if I can, or I'll try to do it when I'm watching TV on the couch. I also love to do any type of pumice stone or callus remover, and I do baby feet at least once a year, which is like that very crazy foot peel from Amazon. I love it, and it keeps the feet looking like I'm young and I've never walked outside a day in my life. Okay, a huge part of your physical glow up is your body and the maintenance of it and weight loss. I know guys, and listen, I am the queen of really loving the body that you are in. I have been big, I have been small, I have really found that what best suits my confidence and my glow up journey is when I feel fit and when I feel slimmer and I don't feel puffed out and inflamed. The key is to not be inflamed, okay? You don't wanna look inflamed because at the end of the day, that could be what's hiding the beauty in your features. When you start to reduce the inflammation, you start to see your jawline again, your traps, your arms, and your waist, and it really just changes how you feel about yourself. All of that inner work, I still want you to do, but external work a lot of the times really does boost your inside so much more as well. So I have found that just making sure that I'm eating a clean diet, trying not to think about food too much, cutting out my alcohol consumption, cutting down my carbohydrates and my sugars has really helped me with losing weight and just keeping that maintenance look of feeling beautiful and looking beautiful. You don't have to attend a gym. You can literally go for a walk every single day. You can do very minor low impact workouts. I really wanna stress the importance of just eating a little bit of a cleaner diet. Not only does this help with your mortality and just making sure that you live a longer life, but you will actually look better and radiate. Your skin will glow better. You will look less puffy. You won't feel as stuffed in your clothing. Everything just kind of trickles down the more that you try to just enhance your features and slim out your body a little bit. Lately, I have been on a weight loss journey and I have lost about 17 pounds. And guys, I feel the best I've ever felt in my life. I have never felt so beautiful. Okay, and the last thing that I wanna touch on is your clothing. I talk about this in a lot of videos, building a capsule wardrobe, having certain pieces in your closet that you know will look good on you, what does your body look like? Do you have broad shoulders? Do you have big breasts? Do you have a big stomach? Do you have a big butt? Do you have long legs? Do you have big feet? Figure out what it is about you that you can manipulate or maneuver or enhance and make more beautiful. For me personally, I am a very curvy girl. I have quite an hourglass figure. I do have pretty decent sized boobs, but my butt isn't huge, but I definitely have very big hips. So I try to find very thick bandage-like material skirts and dresses that not only will cinch me in, but will also hug my curves and make me look more accentuated. I also love to look a little bit longer and more beautiful in that regard, so I will try to find things that lengthen my look. I also like to hide my arms more than likely because I find that they just look sometimes a little bit too big on my body. And if I'm going to do a boob, I will not do a butt or a leg for the day. So it's either one or the other. You want to find clothes that help with your physical appearance. You guys ever hear that saying, it's not that you're ugly, it's that you're broke? Well, I'm gonna switch it and say, it's not that you're ugly, it's just that you haven't found what suits your body yet. That is really what it is. So a nice pro tip is to wear matching separates and monochromatic looks if you're not super good with fashion, therefore black on black on black, white on white on white, pink on pink on pink, and also matching separates like athletic leisure or even a button up and some pants that match each other for a day out and you will look that much more put together. You need to find things that hug your curves, that make you look beautiful, that look like quality materials. Think about all of your favorite influencers and celebrities when you think of their best outfits. A lot of the times it's quality fabrics. It's things that look really good on them. They look 
very polished and classy, all while still looking sexy. Figure out a way to do that yourself. Get on Pinterest, start scrolling, start saving, and start finding ways to enhance your look through fashion. Also, dainty jewelry will be your best friend. My mom actually gifted me these earrings. A lot of you guys have been asking me about them, and when I tell you, they are the most beautiful earrings I have ever owned in my life because they're so beautiful. They remind me of something that you can wear when you go out, like for a dinner, but I also wear them during the day. So they can be both and they're dainty and cute. I also, you guys know I love my promise ring and then my nice little necklace. Jewelry will enhance a look, a bag will enhance a look, shoes will enhance a look. Think about the accessories. Think about the things that you can incorporate in your fashion and really just deck yourself out. Now is the time, ladies and gents, to really take this time to encourage yourself to invest in your appearance, not only your external, like, things that you can purchase for maintenance, but also things that you can do so that when you wake up in the morning, you already look good, which is like facials, getting your brows done, having your lashes done, doing your skincare, taking care of your body. These are all things that if you do them and you maintain them, you will look better just waking up in the morning. I hope this video helped you guys and you guys are ready to conquer your physical glow up journey. Hopefully I gave you a good amount of tips and tricks. If you guys have any other ones for a physical glow up, please leave them down below. I love hearing your guys' suggestions and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Mwah.